Okay, so we're continuing to work through classifying all natural numbers that have primitive roots. And we have a big proposition here which um, almost brings us to the end of this, and that is let p be an odd prime, then there is a primitive root modulo p to the n for all n bigger than or equal to 1. So, uh, beginning the proof, we recall that by a previous result, we know there is a primitive root um, A modulo P such that A to the P to the N minus 2 times P minus 1 is not congruent to 1 modulo P to the N. Great. So um, now uh, let's let k be the order of this a, and what we'll show is, is that this a is indeed the primitive root that we're looking for. So let's let k equal to the order modulo p to the n of this a. Okay, good. And so uh, notice that that tells us that a to the k is congruent to 1 mod p to the n, but the order of everything mod p to the n must divide phi of p to the n, so that means we can write k divides phi of p to the n, but we have a nice formula for Euler's phi function on powers of primes, so that tells us that k divides p to the n minus p to the n minus 1, which um, is the same thing as saying k divides p times p to the n minus 1, sorry, it divides p to the n minus 1 times p minus 1. Okay, good. So now let's also notice the following. So also note that a to the k is congruent to 1 modulo p. And so how do we know that? <clears throat> well, if it's congruent to 1 modulo p to the n, well, it's uh, equal to 1 plus a multiple of p to the n, but that multiple of p to the n is also a multiple of p. So what that tells us is that uh, phi of p must divide k. Okay, good. Um, but again, that means that P minus 1 divides K. Okay, good. So what this tells us, so if we have this is 1 and this is 2, so 1 plus 2, equations 1 plus and, and 2 give us the following form for K. So this means we can write K is equal to p to the l times p minus 1 for l between 0 and n minus 1. Good. So um, how do we know that? Well, if it divides p minus 1, we know that uh, p minus 1, so p minus 1 divides k, which means k is a multiple of p minus 1. Good, and then if k divides this, then that means k contains some powers of the prime, and those powers of the prime can go from 0 to n minus 1. So it can con contain no powers of the prime up to n minus 1 powers of the prime. Okay, so I've cleaned up the board, and uh, where we left off is the following. We had the order of a modulo p to the n, well we called that k, but we argued that it was of the form p to the l times p minus 1, where l is some natural number between 0 and n minus 1. So now let's look, there are two cases here. So case number 1 is that l equals n minus 1. And so what that tells us is that uh, the order uh, modulo p n of a equals p to the n minus 1 times p minus 1, but notice that is phi of p to the n, which that tells us that a is a primitive root mod p 
to the n, which was our goal. And so if uh, we're at the top end of that inequality, then we've achieved our goal, we found a primitive root. So we need to look at the other case, which is that uh, L does not quite get all the way to n minus 1. It is somewhere between 0 and n minus 2. And in this case, we want to look at the following. We want to look at a to the power p to the n minus 2 times p minus 1. So remember, by our previous result, we were able to choose an a that is not congruent to 1 modulo p to the n when raised to this power. And so let's see what goes wrong in this case. So we can write this as a to, p, to the p to the l times p minus 1, and then all of this raised to the n minus 2 minus l power. Good, but now notice that's the same thing as a to the k, where that's the order of a, um, all to the power of, oh, and this should be to the p to the n minus 2 minus l power. So here we have p to the n minus 2 minus l. Great, but then since k is the order of a, this is con all congruent to 1 to that power, but 1 to any power is obviously 1, so that this is 1 mod p to the n, but that's a contradiction of this original choice for a, so that means case number two is not possible, which means case number one is the only one that's possible, and that one gives us that a is a primitive root mod p to the n, which was our goal.